Welcome back to another video with us here at LMDN STEM Academy. In this video, we will be working through the June 2023 Unit 1 Paper 2, and we'll be working on Question 2, Part C, which was specifically about redox equilibria. So Figure 1 is a diagram of a voltaic cell. Give the correct labels that correspond to the letters A, B, and C on the voltaic cell. So here's our voltaic cell, and we see this letter A corresponds to this arrow that's going that direction. B corresponds to this um, metal sheet here that's placed in the solution here. And C corresponds to this metal sheet over here um, where A is going into, right? So. We're gonna label them, we're gonna label A, B, and C. So here are our labels. A, um, this arrow represents the direction of electron flow. So we know that A would be our electrons, right? And because we see right here, we're gonna start right here, that arrow is pointing towards this metal sheet. And we know that electrons come into our cathode. We know that C should be our cathode. Right, and then of course, where are these electrons coming from? They have to be coming from somewhere. And in fact, they're coming from over here. Um, so B would then be our anode, right? So the anode is where electrons leave from and the cathode is where electrons enter. And so the direction of electron flow is always gonna be from our anode into our cathode, okay? So if you had said that this was A, electrons or direction of electron flow, your anode B and your cathode C, you would have gotten all the marks there, okay? So moving along to part two, part two says that we should describe an observation expected during electrolysis. So generally when this process, as this process is going on, right, you know that over here, which we said was our anode, oxidation will be taking place, so a loss of electrons. And then over here, reduction will be taking place. So depending on which species are at each, right, anode or cathode, what we would expect to see generally is that we would expect to see a change in the mass of each electrode, okay? So that's a very general observation that we would expect. And so moving right along, for part three, it says describe an observation if the cell components are based on the cell types. So and now they're telling us specific components now, okay? And if we look at the cell diagram, is what we call this thing here, when we look to the far left, that represents what will be at our anode, right? And when we look to the far right, that represents the things that will be at our cathode, right? And so here's what we would expect to observe then. If we take the cathode, what's going on at the cathode, it's a reduction, right? Over here, this species is getting reduced to copper solid, right? And so in light of that, that would be taking place out here, we would expect to see a reddish brown color at that cathode as the Cu2 plus ions are getting reduced to copper solid, okay? So when we look down here, we would expect to see a little reddish brown color because copper solid is gonna be deposited onto the bottom here, okay? All right, and so... The next part of the question says, state a component which is in the salt bridge. So here's our salt bridge. It connects both of these cells that way, right? So you have some in this ionic solution here and some over here, and that's our salt bridge. So what's in the salt bridge? What could potentially the salt bridge be made up of? So the salt bridge can be made of any strong electrolyte right, an ionic compound like potassium nitrate, or it could be potassium chloride, or it could be sodium chloride, okay? So those will be the ions that are in our bridge, and then they can migrate to different um, cells as needed, okay? All right, and so with that, we've come to the end of this question. Consider subscribing to the channel, and if you look here, right, on your left, you will see the next video up. If you look on your right, you will see the module two playlist where there are tons of other content for you to indulge in and get yourself ready for this exam, okay? Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.